Hello, all you magnificent people. Turpo here. So, the Symmetra changes are out on the PTR, and I thought I would attempt to make a video, hopefully, quickly and concisely summing up all of my uh, concerns and opinions on these changes. So, yeah, let's just jump right in. So, starting off, her beam has changed a bit. Uh, instead of it being uh, like a lock-on thing, now it's it's just Zarya's beam. It, it has a range of 30 meters, I think it was. It, it's got a lot of meters. It says 10 here, but over there it said 30. Maybe I'm just wrong. Okay. It, actually, 30 sounds a bit much. Yeah, I guess it is 10. So, yeah, it's just Zarya's beam now. It doesn't lock on, which is good. Um, but it still charges up. And the damage is now higher. I don't remember the exact numbers. The numbers are there on the screen, because I don't remember them. But they're very high. Um, so, yeah. And she can kill people very, very quickly at full charge. Even at half charge, she is a force to be reckoned with. At max charge, she's just devastating. That's ridiculous. Um, so this damage is absolutely insane, um, and honestly, pretty easy to hit with. Now, granted, these are target dummies, so, you know, it's not the greatest test scenario in the world, but it's, it's just Zarya's beam. It's, it's Zarya's beam, but with more damage. Now, I, I can't actually show this off here, but she can charge it off of enemies' shields, and it doesn't cost her ammo if she does so. So she is now the god of destroying the shields. She is completely anti Ryan. Uh, we might actually finally have a counter to Brig, other than Farah, so that's good. That's about the only upside to this. Uh, and her right click has changed as well, so it charges up much faster, and the projectiles move a lot faster, and they're now explosions that do very minor splash damage. Okay, never mind. If they do damage, they're going to be doing the full damage, which is, if I remember correctly, 135 damage at max charge. And the other thing about this is that you can just spam fire these things. It only costs one ammo each time, so you have 70 shots before you have to reload, and yeah, they don't do a lot of damage, but you can just spam doorways and chokes and corners and just just forever. There's no, like, pause for reloading or anything. You can just pop them off. Why is this allowed? So, moving on, we have her turrets, um, which she now shoots as projectiles, meaning she can deploy them much faster and is no longer slowed down when she's deploying them. That one is currently having a whale of a time. Wow, that is impressive. <laughs> cool. Um, perfect game. No problems with this game at all. Um, let me just get rid of that one. Yeah. So, she can fire them, and that... Th they do that now. Uh, if I remember correctly... Do they... I, I think they slow down more than they used to. Maybe not. I don't know. There's no real way to tell. The turrets also now have health. Uh, they didn't before, or if they did, it was one health. So, I don't actually know if there's a way to show this off. Yeah, so they take more than one hit to be destroyed. They can also be shot out of the air. Should be able to show that off here. Or not. Okay. Apparently they can be shot out of the air. Although, I have yet to see that happen. Maybe that was... I, look, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's apparently a thing. Um, and then her teleporter is no longer her ultimate. It is now just a teleporter um, that she can place up to 25 meters away, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this is actually longer range than Reaper's teleport. Okay, so if I stand on this line here, I can get it up to that roof. I'll test that with Reaper in just a second. But yeah, you can drop it down, uh, the exit appears wherever you go, and then the entrance is right there. You have to press a button to activate the teleporter? Unfortunately, I don't know what that button is, because, well, I must have bound something else to the default, so it doesn't have one. But there isn't an option for use teleporter or interact with object in the options menu. So, yeah. Also, this thing is up for 10 seconds, and the cooldown is 12 seconds, meaning there is a downtime of approximately 2 seconds. 
and an infinite number of people can go through these teleporters. This is infinite. You, as long as it's here, people can go through it. Also, things like Junkrat's tire can now go through the teleporter. This is broken as hell? Just by looking at it, I'm fairly certain this is faster than Reaper's teleport. Now, I can't perfectly test this, because, as I said, it is currently broken and I can't go through the teleporter, because I have something else bound to whatever the default would be, so it doesn't even tell me what it is to use the teleporter. Um, but I can at least take uh, test how long it takes to deploy, so side-by-side -side comparison, and teleport. Great. Actually, Reapers has way more range. Okay, good. Good, good, good. The amount of crap that you're going to be able to do with that, especially since it literally has a two-second downtime, is just absurd. That cooldown needs to be way longer. It basically has a two-second cooldown. Like, that's not okay. So now onto her ultimate. I don't understand what the devs were thinking with this ultimate. I don't know what its use is. I don't know why it's in the game. I don't understand any part of it. So this is her ultimate. You see that? That's a shield. You know how big it is? There isn't a limit. It's literally infinite in size. And it works like May's wall. You can rotate it. Um... Yeah, it, it's just a shield. That lasts for 15 seconds and has 5,000 health. No limits. It's infinite. Literally cut an entire map in half for 15 seconds. I don't understand this ultimate at all. On the one hand, it seems absolutely ridiculous and overpowered as hell. On the other hand, it seems completely and utterly useless. Like, I don't know why anyone would really... Like, what, what, is, what is the use case for this? So I guess now is the part where I'll just sum up my opinions on this. Because before I was just rambling a whole lot, and I'm going to cut that out. So, upsides to this. It's no longer a lock-on. That is a huge, huge upside. Lock-on should not be a thing. Um, the fact that it's not a lock-on is the best thing about this entire change. Uh, the other thing I like is her shield is gone, replaced by the teleporter. I like that. I hated that shield. It was very annoying to deal with. Uh, the last thing I like about this is that the shield generator is gone, which is fantastic. So now the Bridget armor stacking shield generator bullcrap giving basically making everyone on your team a tank at the same time meta is dead. Thank god. That was so infuriating. But it's gone now. So we don't have to worry about it. Um, downsides. Her damage is now absurdly high. Just so ridiculously high. Um, I don't like these. They're fast, and they do a lot of damage. And they even do blast damage. Ah, yes. They do do blast damage. That's... That's just... That's crazy. I hate this. Hate, hate, hate that. That should not be a thing. Um, teleporter seems very, very powerful and has teleporter only a two online. second cooldown, technically, so that's broken as hell and the cooldown needs to be much longer. Uh, the shield, I'm opinionless on. It seems simultaneously completely useless and vastly overpowered. I don't. I really don't know what to think about this. I'm just going to have to see it in a few matches before I can really formulate an opinion on it. In fact, this video is pretty stupid in that I probably should have played a few actual matches in order to better formulate opinions on this entire rework. Perhaps I'll make a video at some point updating my opinions on this. Maybe I'll eventually figure out what the hell this giant monstrosity is for. But... Until then, hope y'all have a magnificent day. Derpo the Magnificent out.